All right, what is up, YouTube? It's Darian. I'm back with another tutorial for y'all, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this dope effect right here. All right, so it happens real quick. I just did this for the sake of the tutorial. Let me go ahead and turn it down. I don't condone, you know, jockeying into the style. You know, I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to give everybody out there, you know, editors out there, ideas, and you can turn this into your own, you know, your own thing. You can replace it. You don't have to use a shockwave. You can do your own thing. So. Just a disclaimer right there, all right? Be original. All right, y'all, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come over here uh, to my, my project panel and I'm gonna select my clip. So I had this footage from one of my shoots. This has some B-roll of this cool like uh, Hellraiser, like clay thing or whatever this was. So basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out the part that you want for your video, all right? and go ahead and drag that onto your timeline. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to YouTube and you wanna look for a green screen shockwave. I'm gonna hold Alt and slide up on the mouse and duplicate my clip, okay? So basically, the reason why we want to duplicate the clip here is because we need to cut out this statue from the background. So this bottom video is going to be our background. So I'll rename that to make it a little bit easier to see and follow along with. So backgrounds. And then this second one right here is going to be... cropped Hellraiser just to help you guys understand what's going on so boom we have two of them right now so all I want to do is go to the beginning of the clip and I want to make sure I'm on the the for me it's the cropped Hellraiser layer but um whatever you guys have just make sure you're on the one that you want to cut out so there should be a background layer underneath it uh, I want to go to my effects control for this clip and I'm going to click on the pen tool and grab um, uh, grab the pen tool and I'm going to start creating a mask all the way around my subject or whatever and again this is this could be whatever you want your shockwave to be around so we have a masked out now but we're not done just yet we want to come over here to mask path and we want to click the toggle animation looks like a little stopwatch we're going to click that to create a keyframe so now we can actually uh, adjust this mask to make sure it stays on the statue for the entire time so that our effect is clean uh, behind it um, if your mask disappears like this go ahead and just click mask it'll come back and then i'm just going to go forward until I feel like it's off, so uh, I'm just gonna go all the way to the end of the clip and just see where it is. And then you just make adjustments, just make adjustments by dragging these little spines right here and just adjust them. Is my shockwave layer right here, and I had this turned off, so I'm gonna turn it back on, and this is how it's gonna look. So, only thing you wanna do now is make sure that the shockwave is underneath. the layer that we cropped okay and above the background layer so it might come out looking like this don't panic it's okay this is how it should look we're going to come over here to effects and type in ultra grab ultra key and drop it onto our shockwave effects control grab the eyedropper and just click on the green and it'll get rid of it so now it's just transparent. So when we play this now, we can't see anything. All right, so let's just turn this off really quick. Let's turn everything off. So we can't see it because it's really small right now. Okay, so we need to make that a little bit bigger. So, um, so first, I'm gonna turn on the background layer and I'm just gonna take a look at this. And this is where you guys can get creative with it. You know, you can switch up the blending mode here, go to screen. So I think that I think that looks a little bit better already, but you can mess around, you know, overlay, multiply, 
you know, let me see how the overlay look. You know, it's a little dark, but if that's what you want to do, you can do that. But I'm going to go with screen for right now, but you guys can play around with the uh, blending modes, look really cool. So what I want to do now is I want to just scale this up. So I want it to be kind of big and noticeable, so I'll make it kind of big like this. All right. Um, and also, I want to adjust the position because uh, I want it to appear like it's kind of evenly coming from behind his head. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my shockwave, right click, and go to speed and duration, and also put it down to 65%. And I'm going to change the time interpolation to optical flow. Click OK. And trim it back down, obviously. So now it should look a little bit better. Cause it's actually it's actually going at the same speed as my other two videos.